Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and today, man, I got a review for you guys I want to talk about Cyberpunk 2077. Now, why did I wait so long? Okay, well, very simple. A lot of you guys had a lot of issues with the PC version and wanted me to do a review on the PC version. And we saw they took it out of the Sony Play Store. They, uh, you know, were offering refunds and all kinds of tons of messes that were going on with this game and you know uh you guys said you had the blue screen of death you guys said you had all kinds of issues uh with your uh device i'm sorry with your computers after uh playing this game and you had no idea why so just to let you guys know i am using the rogue uh strix gaming uh graphics card uh geforce rtx 2080 super what is it uh, advanced eight gigabytes okay so that's what i'm using as my graphics card i could tell you right off the bat everything is working perfectly i'm playing it on max settings you guys are gonna see everything's on max settings and i'm not having any issues now if the video does play a little bit slower it's only because i'm having screen recording software in addition okay to the gameplay you know uh, to the gameplay itself on max uh settings so if you see it slowing down from here to there i can assure you guys as you know i'm an independent reviewer i buy everything with my own money to give you guys the truth everything's operating perfectly okay i'm gonna write the specs down of my computer in the uh you know in the description below but that's all i gotta say guys it's it, you know you build a good computer it's gonna it's not gonna give you this issues but of course sometimes you do have issues with conflicts and everything like that and we're gonna talk about it in the end after you see exactly how this game plays i have absolutely nothing bad that happened now you're gonna see some glitches now that doesn't mean i get the blue screen of death you're gonna see let's say a guy you could see him through the wall or whatever and stuff like that or uh you know you're walking one of your, your teammates walks through uh the elevator door before the elevator door even opens uh, glitches like that are gonna occur but you guys mainly were complaining about the blue screen of death and everything and we're gonna get into all of that in the end so if you want to go fast forward you had enough of watching the gameplay or whatever because this is kind of a review just to show you guys how everything operates if you want to go all the way forward go to the end where i'm going to be talking about the troubleshooting and all of that that i try to replicate on you know worse machines you know slower machines and stuff like that and i'll i'll let you know a little bit exactly how everything works uh that hopefully can uh prevent you from having a blue screen so anyways let's get right into the gameplay so you guys could see how awesome this game is and how awesome this game plays granted again there's some glitches. Hopefully they're going to, you know, put patches. They're already doing patches. They're dedicated to this game. I think the game is really cool. I enjoy it. I love it. I like it. I have, I, I, you know, I don't play it on 8K. I'm playing it on 4K. Obviously, I don't have an 8K monitor. But I know uh, some uh, uh, people out there have 8K monitors. You guys uh, go, go ahead and check it out if it's uh, on the capability of that. So anyways, I'll let you know temperatures. I'll let you know everything. Let's get right into it. Okay, guys, so here we go. So I'm showing you everything in real time, how everything loads. So far, so good, really quick. Kind of love how that glitchy look is. And I mean, this game is wild. I mean, this actually looks like Times Square. I'm not even kidding. Pretty awesome. There you go, breaching. See, the loading time is actually pretty fast on this game here. And you could see, I just want to show you exactly which ones to pick. I have, Obviously, I'll, I'll load up a game so we could go right into it. But you could pick Nomad, Street, uh, Kid, and, and Corpse. <laughs> Anyways, let's get right into it. And right here, you could see, I'm just going to play it on 4K. Now, the key bindings kind of ticked me off because I like using the mouse for firing on first-person shooters. Uh, you have to use the W key, which I really hate. I love having that up and down key. Uh, unfortunately, the left-right works, but the up and down, you can't uh, program it to be on the uh, key binding on the um, uh, keyboard. So I was playing it with the uh, controller, uh, the Xbox uh, you know, controller over here, Xbox 360 controller. Now, look at this game. It's freaking amazing. Atmospheric lighting. Uh, the way the skin tones look, I mean, the, the game looks absolutely stunning. And you can tell it plays really, really well. 
uh, right here. Uh, now, again, I, I'm just going to say this uh, because I have screen recording software at uh, 1080. You know, it's you know, it is hovering around that uh, 55, uh, you know, 43, 55. You'll see like, uh, you know, frame rates there, which kind of sucks, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, it, it's going to 60 frames a second. It's going to 40 frames a second sometimes. Uh, very rarely it goes to 40. But most of the time you're getting a steady 60. So it's fine. It's just because I have the recording, uh, you know, screen recorder on 1080 full, uh, you know, 60 frames a second. So, I mean, yeah, go figure. But the game plays really, really nice. And I love how you get to decide right here exactly, um, you know, what to do. I'm going to let them talk. <laughs> a lot of funny moments here. So yeah, I need some practice with this thing. So th they do have tutorials that you could go through and all that stuff. But, um, you know, um, I did the tutorials, but I keep forgetting exactly the yeah, on the controller exactly what to do. So I'm, uh, yeah, whatever, I'll get it. <laughs> it's one of these buttons here. Let me see. There you go. Okay. Now you see when I'm going left and right, I notice it's like a whoosh, you know, a whoosh in the how it looks. Uh, when I don't have the screen recording software, I don't have that issue. I love this. So that's how you go into like to select what weapons you want and all that. Nice and easy. Just gonna take that. Yeah, there you go. Now, the only gripe I have with this game is like you aim at the head for a headshot. It should be a one hit kill. I don't know why it doesn't do that. I have no idea. Even with my controller here, you kind of have a good. Um, it's kind of nice the way the aim is on this. It's not like all, all over the place. So, you know how I hate playing first person shooters with controllers? I love playing it with the mouse for more accuracy. With this, uh, you know, with the controller now, the, the controller schema scheme here is actually pretty nice. It, it really handles well. But you see, like, when I'm hitting from left to right, it kind of whooshes. Uh, that doesn't exist when I don't have that screen recording software uh, on. So don't try not to pay too much attention to that. It's much faster than that. Where are you, Christos? <laughs> You're in deep shit! And I kind of like the kickback in these guns. Uh, they really make you feel the, the impact. It's pretty awesome. So see, it's not like as accurate as, let's say, Soldiers of Fortune or Unreal Tournament or Call of Duty, where it depends where you shoot, you know, shoot the guy. It's totally different here. It's like you're just shooting and you could just go on forever. You see, like it's... I guess that kind of makes it weird, but... Um, it's a, it's still a fun game. I I really love it. Who's ready to party? <laughs> See, look at that. That's a glitch right there cuz he's behind he's supposed to be behind the wall. You notice that? <laughs> look at that. Now he's behind the wall, so that's a glitch right there, you see? But I, we got to see him. <laughs> so there's glitches in this game, like I said, but I mean, Grand Theft Auto, every, don't nitpick. So many games have glitches, especially these open world games that require a lot of processing power. Um, you know, 
you know, and polygons and all that stuff. So, I mean, you got to think about that. So there is going to be a glitch here and there, and that's about good. Now, I'm going to tell you, like, if you look at these characters, there's so much in detail till they're, like, about maybe six feet away. Then they start to lose detail at a certain point. You're going to see, you see, they start to lose detail once they're, like, six feet away. But that's fine, because that's not the focus of the game. The closer you are, the better it looks. Uh, but then, you know, as they're going much further, you're going to notice that then there's, like, a skip. And, the you know, they don't do it gradually it's kind of like a skip it just turns to crap immediately <laughs> now this is frontal nudity so like i said that's why i'm i'm doing this uh you know this video as uh viewer discretion is advised you know so i put that in there that's why you probably had to put your birth date in there or something i don't know what youtube does but you know it needed to have that Look at the eyes, my god, it's shining. You notice the reflections on on the eyeballs, they're freaking amazing. I wish there was a way I could go kind of closer into it just to see it. But I mean, even like, well, I don't want to ruin the Mandalorian for you, but if you guys see most of their, uh, or even in Star Wars in general, when you saw uh, Princess Leia, uh, you know, the young version in Rogue One, you could kind of tell always from the eyes what's 3D and what's not. And it looks animated, but looking at her eyes right here, I mean, really makes you appreciate how close we're getting to um, to absolute realism in 3D, which is pretty crazy. I mean, it's more realistic than the one in Star Wars, for example. But again, this is an entire model, uh, but you could tell they have real skin textures on them, which is pretty awesome. So this is a very story-driven game, uh, decision-driven type of game, which is pretty cool. Also, on top of frontal nudity, you have a lot of cursing, so needed to put that, uh, you know, needed to say it's for, uh, you know, viewer discretion is advised, you know, viewer discretion is advised. Even though I played games like this since I was a freaking boy, it didn't matter. I saw all of these things, movies, all that, but, you know, you never know, just in case. We don't want people who are not ready for it, you know, to get a shock in their system. It's better just to let them know. And here, I thought, ugh, right here. Just want to show you guys loading here. Damn, I thought the... <laughs> I don't know why I walked out. Here I thought was going to be like, I'm just walking through and, and that's it. But I don't know why I didn't see that. But you saw that was another glitch. You saw that the wall just turned to shreds when it restarted. But uh, here we go. Just look. This looks so cool. Like Tokyo slash, you know, Times Square in Doomsday or something. <laughs> I mean, you could see a lot of displacements here, displacement mapping, a lot of reflection maps, ray tracing, all that. It's a beautiful thing that's going on right here, and it's just something to appreciate. And that's why the game, I mean, look at the heat haze, all of that stuff. Uh, this is why this game is amazing, but yeah, you're going to have some glitches, unfortunately. But the game is really cool. On the PC, I'm speaking here. So I kind of would have loved to see, see that there was a glitch or boob kind of popped when they did that. <laughs> uh, and uh, the thing that, you know, you see the water droplets, they're stuck as a, as a map, as a skin map. I think it would have been cooler to watch it dripping off her, make it more realistic, but whatever. I mean, the game is realistic as is, doesn't really matter. Look at that, it's just gorgeous. And you see, when I go from left to right, it's kind of, uh, the frame rates are kind of going down. Uh, it's only because I have the screen recorder on. Usually it's not like that. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Well, just pay attention. Absolutely no br blue screening, and I'm using screen recording software. So, I mean, that tells you a lot. And we're really stressing out this card on top resolutions here, so. And it's really good. Look for me. Saving my 
yes, V. Thank you. Sort of like it feels like a motion blur, but you know, it's not really that. Uh, see that how he walked through the elevator door? There you go. Glitch number two. And trust me, I bet you there's tons of glitches behind this game. We're just going to have to find out eventually. Also, please forgive me. I'm um, a bit uh, sick under the weather, so <clears throat> my voice is a bit all over the place. I mean, look at the veins, look at everything, and it looks absolutely stunning. You could tell also his bracelet, you see how it's kind of like moving from left to right? It's all realistic. It's like the, even the minor details are realistic. Except the, you know, the water drops would have been cool uh, to add to it. But, you know, you put all of these things into account. I mean, you got to imagine there's a lot of detail in this game. The district is closed. If you are to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. <laughs> now also i'm gonna say if you want to squeeze squeeze out more frame rates you know lower it to hd i mean i'm playing it on 4k max resolution you lower it to hd if you have an hd monitor or you see the 4k monitors you really don't notice much of an, a difference unless you get it from 32 inches to 43 inches then you notice the 4k if you have anything below that you're really not going to notice anything so don't even use 4k use hd and be done with it it'll take a lot of stress out of your card and you'll be able to pump out more frame rates out of that look at that rain you can see it's it's weird it's not accumulating to to the to the windshield which is weird but it's kind of on the side uh, you see the side windows have it I, I don't know why they oh i guess now it's starting to add here but i mean rain that's pouring like that should be like literally all over it but i guess they wanted to make it more enjoyable the viewing see that it does exist when you see like kind of lights on it but it's not as it's supposed it's not realistic at all looks pretty awesome here i mean here you're driving through it all you could tell they kind of lowered the resolution and everything in the outside when you're going through these skits like where you're driving through which is like a a movie playthrough where you can't control really anything except the looking around but um everything when you're walking around it looks absolutely detailed this is so cool i love this part here oh yeah Kind of reminds me of the Arkham chases, you know, Arkham Asylum, uh, I'm Arkham, Asi uh, Arkham City, Arkham Knight, whatever the heck it was called. I remember I loved that game uh, with Batman, so it kind of gives you that kind of feel. But I would say obviously better. <laughs> obviously, yeah, you know, it's a lot of years after that game was made, so. See, I would have liked to see an explosion there. Nothing. I mean, I'm sure it is, but look at that. Now... The windows cracked but so much detail so much things going on in the background i mean it's not just i mean look at this you're you're driving here you 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 see like people in the background kind of you'll see it right now hold on and my god for an empty street this guy has you know the the driver couldn't be dumber i would like go to max speeds for that i mean you have to imagine there's like nobody here <laughs> but then again then you have uh this one from robocop because <laughs> i had 209 over here uh so that's something i kind of wish i could have controlled it but i guess not i love how everything goes slow when you do that though this is funny Watson's on lockdown to further notice. Necessary security measures. Officer, ma'am. Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes him so special? A uh, heart of gold. Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. I'm going to be worried sick if I don't show up. I mean... <laughs> I also love the map uh, on the top right. 
You can't get lost that way. You also see the exclamation mark everywhere. It's just really cool. See, I do love how they show her. You see how wet her shirt is and everything. That that just adds to the realism here. But you you see, she looks. But there's no like droplets or anything. But other than that, I mean, it looks great. Lots of stuff going on here. Look at the detail on the skin and everything. I love how you get to choose between what to, you know, like exactly what you're what to say. Kind of gives you that replay factor. Then you want to replay it nice. again and try to do it the other way around. See what what kind of response you get. Response you get. This reminds me of Florida. <laughs> when my wife and I went to Universal, it kind of looked like the entrance there. And now look at this. Look at all this stuff going on in the background here. It's pretty awesome. Now remember, they're not really high resolution. You can tell the resolution is a little bit dimmed and blurred. Uh, because they're more than six feet, feet away, but you get the idea. It looks great in the background there. And this like took martial law to a whole other, <laughs> the whole other ball game here. He's like, just go. Thought there were dro dro droids. skip it and yeah, when you skip it does that <laughs> I swear this thing looks like you know Arkham Knight it really does like even the parking spots I remember when I used to take the Batmobile like everywhere to these little things here kind of has that feel of it you know to it So let's get right into it. I love the see you could save it whenever you want. So uh, not in the training, anyways. <laughs> let's see. so guys. So as you saw, the game plays extremely well on my computer. Check the specs down on my uh, on my uh, uh, description. You'll see it right there. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. There's glitches like walk, like I said, walking through an elevator door. I'm sure down the you know as you're playing through the game, you'll see other glitches. A person you could see him through the wall before he's even there. So you're gonna see some glitches here and there, and they are working on patches. But there's no blue screen of death. Now, if you guys remember, I did a video about this before. Now I have a gaming card that can handle it. Now I'm gonna just tell you the readouts. The gaming, this card, the graphics card that I have actually went up to about 56 Celsius. Okay, now uh, this is just stock cooling right here. So I'm not doing any special thing here. Uh, just stock cooling at 56 Celsius. Now, there's a reason behind that. I'm sure it would have been uh, much, you know, less. Uh, I'm using screen, rec uh, you know, action screen recorder so you guys could see it. And I'm, uh, you know, so I'm recording that at, you know, HD, uh, you know, 1080p on 60 frames a second. So when you get all of that and you combine it with the gameplay on top resolution, you're going to get some slowdowns in frame rates. You're going to get some things uh, that might not look as good, but it was still operating well as you guys saw so it, everything was working great but that's why the temperature rose a little bit now the cpu uh went up to close to 60 celsius now this i have a liquid cooler by corsair as i did a review for you guys before on that i think everybody should have it right now if you want to push the limitations uh, and i pushed mine i overclocked my cpu so yes it is going to get a little bit hotter now when you're playing other games it usually goes to about 45, 50 at most, like, well, you know, high graphical games. This one pushes the limit a little bit, but I think, again, it's because I was operating screen recording software, which does stress your CPU by a crap ton. So that is not bad temperatures right there. So what is the problem? What is causing these blue screens? So simple thing could be conflicts try to reinstall the game again uninstall it and uninstall it from the memory everything a clean you know uninstall and then reinstall it see if that works if that doesn't then you got to start to investigate okay 
is your power supply running well? If your power supply cannot handle the juice, because it is going to stress your machine. So if you're on the level, you know, they're like, oh, get at least a 500 watt or no, mine is, uh, you know, over a thousand. You need to go above and beyond when you're getting a power supply than what you are usually using it for. So if you, things like this game that is very high graphical and that p draws a lot of energy out of it, you need to have a constant power going through. Also, power surges could go up and down, and because of that could cause issues. So don't hook it up directly to a wall. Hook it up to, you know, a strip, like a Belkin. You know, they have nice strips. You could do all kinds of things like that to get that, you know, constant uh you know draw of uh, power but you need a good power supply now if you have a good power supply be sure to check if if the fans are loaded with dust i know when i do uh computer repairs for a lot of people i remember back in my college days most of them were covered in dust and it wouldn't really operate in the optimal way it's supposed to so the second we cleaned it out out went the you know the blue screen of death so that's another uh issue that could happen now another issue is your graphics card, if it's underpowered, uh, like I said, from the power supply, uh, you don't have uh, enough wattage, it's going to cause issues of the blue screen of death. But also at the same time, if you're using stock like me, stock cooling that co that comes with the card, you might want to actually take out the, um, the fans and try to give it a clean, especially if they're old or you live in a dusty environment, or even if not, you'll be amazed how much dust and dirt th this thing picks up. And I don't even know how, but at one time I even had grime. Uh, so <laughs> clean it out, you know, take it, uh, take it apart, you know, do it at your own risk, of course, but take it apart, clean it out and see what you could do. If you clean it, you'll see you're going to get better, no matter what better temperature reading. So that's going to be good. Always try to pay attention to the, uh, temperature readings, uh, you know, through your, your CPU temperature readings and your GPU, uh, temperature readings and see exactly how the temperature goes. Cause also if it goes extremely hot, Okay, if let's say this uh, your graphics card doesn't have good cooling, you might want to go the water uh, cooling era. Remember, maybe you're not getting exactly you know something that uh, you know you're you're getting too much. You don't have good airflow in your in your um, in your chassis in your computer chassis. That could cause some temperature readings. As I did before, I did a video for you guys where I showed you how a closed um, you know, a uh, graphics card that's all closed and has its own, uh, you know, fan, but has its own exhaust and all that. And it's closed up. It, it will, um, you know, it will pretty much be hotter, uh, in temperature than one that's completely open. But at the same time, when it's open, you need to make sure that your, your chassis is cool, have proper intake fans. Look at my, how to build a computer, a uh, gaming, uh, slash post-production, uh, PC. Uh, you know, I did a mini series on that. You guys could see how I do it. It's like an air condition. I have intake outtake fans. It's, it, it just does a very good job that I get it actually in the, you know, 45, 50 degrees in there at most when it's really hot in there now i haven't checked the the uh chassis uh let me see if i could get that in here the chassis uh I'm trying to see here but uh, just make sure that you have good cooling on this baby right here but i have everything and yeah everything is is cool now but yeah i gotta do it after but trust me it doesn't get that bad i i've done rendering and you know extreme rendering that even draws more power than this and everything is fine now remember i i did uh you know um overclock it to 4.2 gigahertz uh my, my uh, uh gp uh, my cpu and then i of course went up to 4.5 again totally up to you if you have it overclocked try to under you know to take it back to baseline that could be causing a blue screen of death because that also draws a lot of power if your uh, you know if your power supply is not good enough or even if it's not uh, cool enough, you will have the blue screen of death. Try to go back back to baseline. Now, uh, some of you guys may have issues also with your graphics card, even though you have a good graphics card, right? But the thing is, and let's say you got a brand new one, everything is cool, everything, and you're still getting a blue screen of death. Guys, I told you guys before, most of these overclocked cards are not what they are said to be. What do I mean by that? Well, a lot of these cards come to you factory overclocked, and they market it as, let's say, a certain amount of power when in reality it's really uh, you bought a lower uh you know um 
graphics uh, graphics card that has just been upgraded. I think this should be illegal. This should be class action uh, action lawsuits. But you guys saw what happened. I went and got different programs that come, you know, that with your respected card that you can underclock it. And when you underclock it, you saw games like Call of Duty and all of these things stop getting stuck. Uh, games like Marvel Avengers. I showed I showed you guys it stopped getting stuck and getting the blue screen to death mainly because I underclocked it because these cards are marketed to be a certain power when in reality it's not it, it was less and they just came factory overclocked so look into that as well these are all the troubleshooting uh techniques that i use in a lot of computers and help people prevent that so this game is good okay for 60 bucks definitely a good game i think the graphics are great if you have the PC for it, the powerhouse. I remember when Crisis came out, no computer could run it. Ark Survival, no computer could run it until you started getting better, more graphical, uh, you know, uh, more powerful, sorry, uh, PCs and stuff like that where you're building it. You're going to realize that you have... Uh, yeah, a much nicer experience with these games. This game looks like it's also kind of that crisis game. I, I bet you people are going to use it to benchmark games. This game is amazing. It looks absolutely stunning. I played it on 4K, max resolution, max settings, and it's great. I mean, you saw it doesn't get the blue screen to death. Yes, there's some glitches, and I'm sure they're going to fix it. And I think this game is wild. It deserves $60. But now again, if you want to wait on it... Now, this I'm talking about PC. I'm not talking about PlayStation 4. I didn't get it for my PlayStation 4. I didn't get it for, uh, you know, uh, for uh, Xbox or anything like that. I got it straight up for the PC. So I can only speak for the PC. I can tell you this game is worth the $60 price point. But because of all of the propaganda, propaganda and real things that are about behind it right now that are uh kind of uh you know deterring <laughs> this game from being the amazing game that it is uh and es especially the glitches that's in this game that'll make you laugh but i mean come on a lot of games even grand theft auto had a ton of glitches and stuff and you know they'll they'll fix it but the thing is because of that Maybe it's better you guys wait till a little bit after the holidays. The prices might go down. Also, if you go to that, I think it was G24A. I forgot. G4A, G something. I forgot the name of that uh, th uh, thing. They have G2A something. I forgot the, the name. They, they used to sell games. Um, uh, you know, like somebody would want to sell the game and do away with it and give you their code for dirt cheap. You guys could go into those kind of sites and just get the game already, I'm sure, cheaper uh, because there's so many returns that are happening right now. Um, but... Uh, to those of you on the PC, I advise if you already bought the game, don't sell it. I think you guys will have a great time with it. You just have to try to troubleshoot this a little bit. Look at the temperature reading uh, of your uh, CPU. If it's going to 60 constantly and it's, you know, uh, without screen recording software, you guys are playing the game. You have a cooling issue. I recommend, uh, uh, and for games like this, to be honest, I recommend as a rule of thumb get the corsair h100 whatever it was i it's cheap and it's a, a liquid cooler and it'll cool your uh your your cpu really nicely and you guys will be really happy with the results uh and uh you know if you want to get a gpu cooler you could get a gpu i was running it on stock and i'm fine i have absolutely no issues but my readings are a little bit high because i uh, use screen recording software and all of that but i mean not as high as it should be i mean we're talking about you know 55 57 for the cpu close to 60 i would say i think gpu is like 55 6 uh, 50 57 58 something 60 uh, on the gpu uh, uh you know in terms of celsius celsius uh so it's not that bad <clears throat> so that's all i'm gonna say about that i think that's this game is definitely worth the 60 dollars price point again guys this is the independent channel the people's channel okay I buy this all with my own money. I work three jobs to make this happen. And I love you guys for offering me the Patreon services. But I'd rather you guys keep that money to invest in, you know, yourselves, to invest in your families, spoil yourselves, spoil your families. Right now, we live in uncertain time. I'd rather you guys, uh, you know, save the money and spend it wisely or spend it on the tech that we're doing review, spend it on the game that we're doing review. And if, uh, you know, you guys are already giving back to the community, this is the people's channel. You guys are the jury. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I want to hear the problems with the... Uh, playstation 4 what are you guys having an issue with that because this is about the pc version uh i want to hear if you guys have it for the xbox exactly what, what you know what's wrong with that 
Uh, but uh, as far if you guys own the PC version, let me know what you guys are getting. Are you getting the blue screen of death? Did these uh, tips that I gave you right now, are they helping you out? Did they help you, you know, conquer the blue screen of death and now you're having a good gaming experience? Uh, also, I'm going to recommend this. Uh, try to lower the resolution down sometimes. You know, that'll cool your, uh, you know, GPU. If, if no matter what you're trying, it doesn't work. Try to lower the graphics down a little bit and it'll still look amazing. I mean, I played it even on HD and it looks great. So, I mean... It is what it is. Uh, but, um, you know, I was getting like 60 frames a second on this thing, so it's fine. Uh, of course, sometimes I got like a little drift in the frame rates uh, because of, you know, because of the screen recording software. When it, the screen recording software is not there, I get about 75 ish, 60 to 70. I would say 65, 75, like that. It goes uh, back and forth, depends on where you are. But I enjoy it. it it's, it's great. You're not going to get like, you know, 120 on this baby frames or something like that. I don't, at least I don't think so. For me, it didn't work out that way. But I th unless it's because I'm, I'm testing, I'm using this, these devices to test the frame rates, maybe that also is slowing it down. I don't know. But I'm getting a great. Uh, gaming experience on my 43 inch uh, monitor 4k uh, so it's it's great i did a review on that too it's like a 600 hundred dollar monitor it's not the best thing in the world but it's great you know so for, for what it does especially if you're gamers absolutely love it um uh, let me know what you guys think you know uh do you like it do you dislike it uh, uh what glitches have you had all of that i want to hear it because together we're helping the community that's the reason I, I built this channel in the first place i mean word of mouth here i only took this ser serious what one a year and a half to two years and look we're already almost at eight thousand subscribers i don't do any advertising this is just word of mouth to keep it nice and honest i don't do any of that paid for review nonsense this is real information given by real people like you and i this is us our channel the people's channel and together that's the reason why i opened it so we all could give back to the community by helping them make better informed decisions and th and that's where it all comes into it so definitely comment down below like subscribe if you like what you hear i know some of you guys hit the bell button and weren't alerted you contacted youtube they told you we're not a big enough channel whatever we're growing so share it with everybody you know let our community grow let them sift through less garbage uh, and then get uh, to get to our channel, the truth channel, not the paid for reviewer channel. Love you guys. Uh, definitely uh, let me know what you think. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking. Uh, this video subscribing and hitting that bell button as many more cool videos to come definitely want you guys in it and i want to want you guys to be vocal definitely comment down below i want to hear what you guys have to say have a good one y'all take care bye